Greetings and welcome to another LGR blurb about a record. Uh, not this one in particular, but this is a good one. This is the soundtrack to 2016's Doom by Mick Gordon. It was something I was really excited to get, not only because I ended up really enjoying the soundtrack the more I listened to it over the years, <laughs> but it was just like the only version of Doom's soundtrack that you could get on vinyl. And yeah, that was kind of a, a surprise to me. I was like thinking that maybe Bethesda or Id, you know, would actually release maybe the uh, the original Doom's soundtracks in vinyl, like Doom 2 and 3 or something. So they released this one. But as of now, they haven't released like Ultimate Doom, Doom 2, Doom 3, Doom 64, any of the others on vinyl. But as uh, the approach of or the release <laughs> of Doom Eternal is approaching, it got me thinking the other month, just looking around, you know, seeing if perhaps something had changed, uh, maybe they had released the original Doom soundtrack or something. Well, they still haven't. However, that hasn't stopped some people from releasing their own soundtracks to vinyl. Yeah, I guess technically this is a bootleg, but I mean, whatever, man. This is the ultimate Doom soundtrack. <laughs> On vinyl, completely unsanctioned. The four episodes of Ultimate Doom. And you can see, uh, if we can get this to focus there. Captured using a 24-bit 48 kilohertz with Sonar X3 producer, using the Doom 3 MIDI files and the official Roland SC55 Sound Canvas VSTi plugin. What? Yeah. They credit Bobby Prince, but there's not much else in terms of details, in terms of like uh, who actually put this together. I mean, I know who did it, um, or who, what they go by. In fact, there's some more information on the inside. Uh, that's that's sort of a a little thing there, that's the logo they put on their releases. But this is not an official release, and it's it's fascinating. There's a couple of different Doom releases on vinyl now. For the original Doom, this is the Ultimate Doom one. There is one that is just straight up Doom, and it looks like this. I've been looking for that one for a while, but I think that only got like 100 pressings and grease or something. And uh, this one here, this Ultimate one, doesn't have many pressings either. But I managed to grab one brand new. And I uh, just opened it earlier today as I got in the mail and I was about to listen to it. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'll shoot a video really quick. Should not be hit by any copyright stuff because it's just sound canvas music. And some guy recorded it and put it on vinyl. Inside. We don't get the cool uh, sleeve art. But we do get some of these things that aren't in the official release. So here's like the uh, the label or whatever, it's Kawadeka Records. Like I said, there is another uh, Doom on vinyl. I don't think it's related to this. I think this is a totally different, unrelated, weird bootleg kind of release, but uh, so it goes. Yeah, so there is the Ultimate Doom uh, soundtrack list as they have put it together. I just like the fact that it comes with episode four, Thy Flesh Consumed as well. I can get some more cool art there. And then this, I don't know who made this. <laughs> There's something, something about Doom Guy's face there. He looks a little goofy to me. And, and uh, very, very muscly. If that is official art, I've never seen it before. I don't know. The proportions are weird and interesting. I kind of like it. These, uh, you, you got that original like, Doom 1 box art demon down there. Like, check out that guy in the middle. That's totally the guy looking back at the camera on the uh, Doom 1 box art. So It's just like a little postcard almost. It's more like a 5x7 though. I think it's a little larger than a postcard, but... Anyway, uh, inside, yeah, these are the actual, like, records themselves. Let's just go one and two first. They are paper, but they have uh, a nice, like, protective inside sleeve thing, so I'm going to leave these. Somebody asked, well, actually, a number of people asked last time why I uh, replaced my paper sleeves, and that is because... I just don't like paper. It tends to leave a lot of weird little paper bits and stuff on the record. But yeah, as long as it's got some like protective like film inside like that, I'm cool with it. These are quite nice, man. Nice and splattered looking. I mean, it looks nice. I'm just, I'm not sure how the quality is uh, otherwise. So we'll find out here in a minute. Let me check out the other record. I haven't seen this one yet. I've only taken out the first one to look at it earlier. Ooh. So we've got <laughs> that same weird postcard art right there. Again, if it's official, I've just never seen it before. I like that. That's pretty cool. You know, Cacodemon. 
Yeah, dude. So, all four episodes. I haven't checked to see if it's actually all of the uh, individual tracks, like the MIDI tracks, but uh, it's a good chunk of them at least. That's for sure. So, let's uh, get the record player going and listen to uh, just a little bit of episode one on vinyl for Doom Ultimate. Yeah. Alrighty, let's get this on here. I did forget to mention this is actually a 12 inch 45 RPM record, so switch that over there. And uh, actually, let's get a little bit of mood lighting going. This is Doom after all. Hey, Flurble Nerp, make the lights red. Yeah, much better. Okay, here we go. I'm excited. <laughs> Doom on vinyl. Perfect already. Oh, yes. <laughs> Okay, this is sounding really good. Uh, I was wondering if they would do like a really wet kind of reverby mix, considering the sound canvas or even just the plugin can do that, and often was set that way. But it sounds like they actually went with a pretty dry one, which I'm happy for. Um, it's not overly chorusy reverby craziness that some of those Roland's could do. Maybe sounds like it in the recording you're hearing because it's just a microphone on top of the camera, and my room is kind of reverby. But uh, yeah, like the mix itself sounds pretty good. Um, Let's just move over to side two. And really clean. Like, seriously, this the sound quality is awesome. Um, being a 45, I'm sure it helps. I'm impressed with this, man. Okay, so we got episode two, The Shores of Hell. The first track, whatever is that. Oh, I forgot. Well, wait, whatever. Okay, um, yeah, this is better than I was thinking for like a unofficial bootleggy type thing. It's really awesome. I, I mean, seriously, wow. Uh, what in the world? I mean, I was hoping that this, is, this would be a good release. You know, just as like a collector of, actually I have a lot of bootleg records, uh, unofficial ones, whatever. And a lot of them suck, man, they suck. But this one? is really good. And you know, if Bethesda id Software sold an official one, I'd totally buy it. But I bought this one because I saw it available on Discogs. I'm like, yeah, I'll buy it. <laughs> so uh, that's about it. Ultimate Doom on vinyl. There are copies out there if you seek them. Again, they're kind of in a weird gray area, gray market thing. But dang, man, it's just recordings of MIDI on vinyl and it's a very good quality transfer, it sounds like. They did go with a, a VST plug-in version of the Roland Sound Canvas, like they mentioned, so it's not like original hardware, but sounds darn good to me, so... Yeah. That's about it, I guess. Doom! 
You excited for Doom Eternal? Because I am. I am working on my review in between doing things like this. <laughs> so that'll be up on the main LGR channel. Hopefully the Tuesday before the actual game comes out. So a few days before the public launch. Anyway, Doom, man. So good. That's it.